Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to give admin permission on a 7 days to die server. Before we get started, you will need to have a player's Steam ID. If you do not know how to find the Steam ID, I will have a video linked in the description going over how to do so. First, we're going to log into our Bisect Hosting Games panel and choose our 7 days to die server. Next, we're going to choose the red stop button to stop the server. We will then go to the Files tab, and we need to open the .local folder, then the Share folder, then 7 Days to Die, and lastly, Saves. Once here, we're going to open the serveradmin.xml file. In this file, we're going to navigate to where it says Admins, and then we need to uncomment this line by removing the dashes and arrows before and after this line. So at the end, it should look just like this, and you'll know you've uncommented when it starts to have different colors on the text. We then need to replace the ID after the Steam ID with the desired Steam ID 64 of the player. We then need to change the name equals line in between the parentheses. We need to name this administrator. So for now, we're just going to put Steve, but you can put anything else. If you want to add any other admins, you can just copy this line, press enter, and paste and make sure each new admin is on a new line with a new user ID and a new name. Once you've added all the admins that you would like on your 7 days to die server, choose the save content button, then go back to the home tab, start the server, and you'll have given admin permissions to those players on your 7 days to die server. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com slash KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.